Alright, welcome to Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation 4. My name is Fear Genocide. I went to the midnight release at my local GameStop. Well, lo I say local, but rather just nearest. It isn't quite fully local for me. It is still a few miles away. And I went to the midnight release, picked it up. I've been playing it ever since. I've been mostly playing Killzone Shadowfall. Great game, by the way. Guerrilla Games, if you ever see or hear of this. Good freaking job. Because that game is awesome. But now, we are able to, with the PlayStation 4, we are able to record our voices while we get footage for the streaming. Or not the well, I, actually yes, the streaming as well, but also for the um, basically the system's built-in DVR function. So I decided to use this to acquire videos and commentaries, obviously, and make use of this. Now, obviously, as many. Hopefully all, but many would already know the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One do not currently support uploading to straight to YouTube, but the PS4 does upload to Facebook, which there is a sort of workaround you can use to get footage off of Facebook onto your computer if you have one, if you have the right program anyways. Which, by the way, that program is the YouTube downloader. You can get it and use it for free. Now, using that, you can get video off of Facebook that is from your own account. So, obviously, it would be if it's your video and commentary. Did I just get counter knifed? Or is it just a coincidence? I'm sorry. <laughs> So, using that, you can get the footage off of Facebook and download to your computer where you can upload it later to YouTube as you wish. However, I would suggest finding a way on your settings to hide all stuff from PlayStation Network from your friends if you intend to do this, because they will more than likely find it incredibly annoying when you constantly upload footage. Now. I am looking forward to bringing a lot of stuff. Up until recently, I've been able to get good console footage because I lack the proper equipment, but thanks to each next gen consoles practically being proper equipment for recording in and of their own, that's not really a problem for me anymore. Ooh. Adrenaline kill? What is that? So, that's that. The two games I have purchased for the PS4 are obviously Battlefield 4 and Killzone Shadowfall. I do intend to play a good amount of each and capture a good amount of footage from each. I do have footage from both. And there is footage for both multiplayer and now single player with this. However, up until now, none of that footage has had any commentary to go with it. So I will, I will probably be uploading that to YouTube at some point or another. However, it might not be till later, and that commentary may be added in later. Sort of as a, sort of using it as a stock footage. Now, other than that, there will be a good amount of basically live commentary being done. After all, I do prefer that sort of thing. That way, you don't try to, have, you don't have to try to be. Finally, you don't have to spend all your time writing the jokes, you can just go bam, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and get it done. It's quick, it's easy, 
I can enter this thing? I've got these options. Controls, vehicle buttons, veteran. Shit, I didn't save. Okay, I didn't realize her. Now, this should be a very fun experience, hopefully for everyone, and not just myself. However, I do intend to have fun with this. Now, those that intend to use the PS4 for these purposes should note that the PS4 has a 15 minute limit on its DVR functionality. Which, for these purposes, is actually more than enough. You really, unless you're intending on filming like hour long matches of Battlefield or something. You're not really going to need more than 15 minutes, but if you're doing little Let's Plays videos of really any game, seeing as the average Let's Play video is about 10 to 12 minutes long, that 15 minute limit will be right within your needs. For those of you that intend to get the Xbox One and use that for this, these purposes, I would recommend... Excuse me recommend finding a way to edit the foot edit three of the five minutes video captures into one from your computer because of the five minute limit being significantly shorter than the average 12 or so minutes of a let's play video Definitely gonna be a lot shorter than a freaking match, even on Call of Duty. Don't know why they would choose to go with a, such a small limit when their competitor is going with a limit that allows, for, pretty much just allows for the easy recording of Let's Play videos. But then again, I am not going to pretend to be some all-knowing industry analyst or anything like that, tech expert, no. Those things I am not. Things that I am, rather the thing that I am, is a gamer. So game I shall. And also, I will knife this dude. Now, as time goes on, I'm gonna bring more talk and basically my opinions on certain games that I'll be playing on the PS4 system. I do intend on getting another 8th gen system, however it will more than likely, to some people's surprise, be the Wii U. One part because I don't feel like paying two subscriptions to pay to play online on all the games I have. See, seeing as if I had a PS4 and Xbox One, I would. And two, I, fi I would find it a little ridiculous for my what would be my secondary system to be more expensive than the primary. Plus, I can probably fit the Wii U where my Wii is now, and an Xbox One would not fit there. Would not fit next to the PS4. In fact, I actually had to move my PS3 from where it was to fit the PS4 where it is now because I over or underestimated it, rather the amount of space that the PS4 would need. So, size-wise, price-wise, and <laughs> multiplayer-wise, the Wii is probably the better bet for me with a secondary system. <laughs> now, I'm being said, I'm in the elevator. What are you talking about? Well, 
if and when I do get Wii U, I'd probably get it for a game such as obviously Super Smash Brothers. I do love those. Good Metroid Prime game if they ever came out with another one. And probably games that are more suit suited to the seventh generation of systems than new eighth gen. Sorry, I died there. I was moving my computer over. So basically, games such as the Call of Duty franchise as it currently is. After all, I do not intend to be buying that on my PlayStation 4. I believe it is a waste of new hardware, regardless of whether that hardware be Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Whoa! And I think on that note, that's where we'll cut this video off. Everyone have a good one.